In physics, a gauge theory is a type of field theory in which the Lagrangian is invariant under certain Lie groups of local transformations. The term gauge refers to any specific mathematical formalism to regulate redundant degrees of freedom in the Lagrangian. The transformations between possible gauges, called gauge transformations, form a Lie group referred to as the symmetry group or the gauge group of the theory. Associated with any Lie group is the Lie algebra of group generators. For each group generator there necessarily arises a corresponding field usually a vector field called the gauge field. Gauge fields are included in the Lagrangian to ensure its invariance under the local group transformations called gauge invariance. When such a theory is quantized, the quanta of the gauge fields are called gauge bosons. If the symmetry group is non-commutative, then the gauge theory is referred to as non-abelian gauge theory, the usual example being the Young-Mills theory. Many powerful theories in physics are described by Lagrangians that are invariant under some symmetry transformation groups. When they are invariant under a transformation identically performed at every point in the spacetime in which the physical processes occur, they are said to have a global symmetry. Local symmetry, the cornerstone of gauge theories, is a stronger constraint. In fact, a global symmetry is just a local symmetry whose group's parameters are fixed in space-time the same way a constant value can be understood as a function of a certain parameter, the output of which is always the same. Gauge theories are important as the successful field theories explaining the dynamics of elementary particles. Quantum electrodynamics is an abelian gauge theory with the symmetry group U and has one gauge field, the electromagnetic four potential, with the photon being the gauge boson. The standard model is a non-abelian gauge theory with the symmetry group U times SU times SU and has a total of 12 gauge bosons, the photon, 3 weak bosons and 8 gluons. Gauge theories are also important in explaining gravitation in the theory of general relativity. Its case is somewhat unusual in that the gauge field is a tensor, the Langsos tensor. Theories of quantum gravity, beginning with gauge gravitation theory, also postulate the existence of a gauge boson known as the graviton. Gauge symmetries can be viewed as analogues of the principle of general covariance of general relativity in which the coordinate system can be chosen freely under arbitrary diffeomorphisms of spacetime. Both gauge invariance and diffeomorphism invariance reflect a redundancy in the description of the system. An alternative theory of gravitation, gauge theory gravity, replaces the principle of general covariance with a true gauge principle with new gauge fields. Historically, these ideas were first stated in the context of classical electromagnetism and later in general relativity. However, the modern importance of gauge symmetries appeared first in the relativistic quantum mechanics of electrons, quantum electrodynamics, elaborated on below. Today, gauge theories are useful in condensed matter, nuclear and high-energy physics among other subfields. History The earliest field theory having a gauge symmetry was Maxwell's formulation, in 1864–65, of electrodynamics, a dynamical theory of the electromagnetic field which stated that any function whose curl vanishes, and can therefore normally be written as a gradient, could be added to the vector potential without affecting the magnetic field. The importance of this symmetry remained unnoticed in the earliest formulations. Similarly unnoticed, Hilbert had derived the Einstein field equations by postulating the invariance of the action under a general coordinate transformation. Later Hermann Weyl, in an attempt to unify general relativity and electromagnetism, conjectured that eigenvariants or invariants under the change of scale or gauge might also be a local symmetry of general relativity. After the development of quantum mechanics, Weyl, Vladimir Fock and Fritz London modified gauge by replacing the scale factor with a complex quantity and turned the scale transformation into a change of phase, which is a U gauge symmetry. This explained the electromagnetic field effect on the wave function of a charged quantum mechanical particle. 
This was the first widely recognized gauge theory, popularized by Pauli in 1941. In 1954, attempting to resolve some of the great confusion in elementary particle physics, Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills introduced non abelian gauge theories as models to understand the strong interaction holding together nucleons in atomic nuclei. Ronald Shaw, working under Abdus Salam, independently introduced the same notion in his doctoral thesis, generalizing the gauge invariance of electromagnetism. They attempted to construct a theory based on the action of the non -abelian SU symmetry group on the isospin doublet of protons and neutrons. This is similar to the action of the U group on the spinner fields of quantum electrodynamics. In particle physics the emphasis was on using quantized gauge theories. This idea later found application in the quantum field theory of the weak force, and its unification with electromagnetism in the electroweak theory. Gauge theories became even more attractive when it was realized that non-abelian gauge theories reproduced a feature called asymptotic freedom. Asymptotic freedom was believed to be an important characteristic of strong interactions. This motivated searching for a strong force gauge theory. This theory, now known as quantum chromodynamics, is a gauge theory with the action of the SU group on the color triplet of quarks. The standard model unifies the description of electromagnetism, weak interactions and strong interactions in the language of gauge theory. In the 1970s, Michael Adia began studying the mathematics of solutions to the classical Young-Mills equations. In 1983, Adia's student Simon Donaldson built on this work to show that the differentiable classification of smooth four-manifolds is very different from their classification up to homeomorphism. Michael Friedman used Donaldson's work to exhibit exotic R4s, that is, exotic differentiable structures on Euclidean four-dimensional space. This led to an increasing interest in gauge theory for its own sake, independent of its successes in fundamental physics. In 1994, Edward Witten and Nathan Seiberg invented gauge-theoretic techniques based on supersymmetry that enabled the calculation of certain topological invariants the Seiberg-Witten invariants. These contributions to mathematics from gauge theory have led to a renewed interest in this area. The importance of gauge theories in physics is exemplified in the tremendous success of the mathematical formalism in providing a unified framework to describe the quantum field theories of electromagnetism, the weak force and the strong force. This theory, known as the standard model, accurately describes experimental predictions regarding three of the four fundamental forces of nature, and is a gauge theory with the gauge group SU times SU times U Modern theories like string theory, as well as general relativity, are, in one way or another, gauge theories. See Pickering for more about the history of gauge and quantum field theories. Topic. Description Topic. Global and local symmetries Topic. Global symmetry In physics, the mathematical description of any physical situation usually contains excess degrees of freedom, the same physical situation is equally well described by many equivalent mathematical configurations. For instance, in Newtonian dynamics, if two configurations are related by a Galilean transformation an inertial change of reference frame they represent the same physical situation. These transformations form a group of symmetries of the theory, and a physical situation corresponds not to an individual mathematical configuration but to a class of configurations related to one another by this symmetry group. This idea can be generalized to include local as well as global symmetries, analogous to much more abstract changes of coordinates in a situation where there is no preferred inertial coordinate system that covers the entire physical system. A gauge theory is a mathematical model that has symmetries of this kind, together with a set of techniques for making physical predictions consistent with the symmetries of the model. <laughs> <laughs> Example of global symmetry When a quantity occurring in the mathematical configuration is not just a number but has some geometrical significance, such as a velocity or an axis of rotation, its representation as numbers arranged in a vector or matrix is also changed by a coordinate transformation. 
For instance, if one description of a pattern of fluid flow states that the fluid velocity in the neighborhood of x equals 1, y equals 0 is 1 m per second in the positive x direction, then a description of the same situation in which the coordinate system has been rotated clockwise by 90 degrees states that the fluid velocity in the neighborhood of x equals 0, y equals 1 is 1 m per second in the positive y direction. The coordinate transformation has affected both the coordinate system used to identify the location of the measurement and the basis in which its value is expressed. As long as this transformation is performed globally affecting the coordinate basis in the same way at every point, the effect on values that represent the rate of change of some quantity along some path in space and time as it passes through point P is the same as the effect on values that are truly local to P. Topic. Local symmetry Topic. Use of fiber bundles to describe local symmetries In order to adequately describe physical situations in more complex theories, it is often necessary to introduce a «coordinate basis» for some of the objects of the theory that do not have this simple relationship to the coordinates used to label points in space and time. In mathematical terms, the theory involves a fiber bundle in which the fiber at each point of the base space consists of possible coordinate bases for use when describing the values of objects at that point. In order to spell out a mathematical configuration, one must choose a particular coordinate basis at each point, a local section of the fiber bundle, and express the values of the objects of the theory, usually fields in the physicist's sense using this basis two such mathematical configurations are equivalent describe the same physical situation if they are related by a transformation of this abstract coordinate basis a change of local section or gauge transformation in most gauge theories the set of possible transformations of the abstract gauge basis at an individual point in space and time is a finite dimensional lie group the simplest such group is U1, which appears in the modern formulation of quantum electrodynamics QED via its use of complex numbers. QED is generally regarded as the first, and simplest, physical gauge theory. The set of possible gauge transformations of the entire configuration of a given gauge theory also forms a group, the gauge group of the theory. An element of the gauge group can be parameterized by a smoothly varying function from the points of spacetime to the finite dimensional Lie group, such that the value of the function and its derivatives at each point represents the action of the gauge transformation on the fiber over that point. A gauge transformation with constant parameter at every point in space and time is analogous to a rigid rotation of the geometric coordinate system, it represents a global symmetry of the gauge representation. As in the case of a rigid rotation, this gauge transformation affects expressions that represent the rate of change along a path of some gauge-dependent quantity in the same way as those that represent a truly local quantity. A gauge transformation whose parameter is not a constant function is referred to as a local symmetry. Its effect on expressions that involve a derivative is qualitatively different from that on expressions that don't. This is analogous to a non-inertial change of reference frame, which can produce a Coriolis effect. Topic. Gauge fields The «gauge covariant» version of a gauge theory accounts for this effect by introducing a gauge field in mathematical language, an Erisman connection and formulating all rates of change in terms of the covariant derivative with respect to this connection. The gauge field becomes an essential part of the description of a mathematical configuration. A configuration in which the gauge field can be eliminated by a gauge transformation has the property that its field strength in mathematical language, its curvature is zero everywhere. A gauge theory is not limited to these configurations. In other words, the distinguishing characteristic of a gauge theory is that the gauge field does not merely compensate for a poor choice of coordinate system, there is generally no gauge transformation that makes the gauge field vanish. When analyzing the dynamics of a gauge theory, the gauge field must be treated as a dynamical variable, similar to other objects in the description of a physical situation. In addition to its interaction with other objects via the covariant derivative, the gauge field typically contributes energy in the form of a self-energy term. One can obtain the equations for the gauge theory by starting from a naive ansatz without the gauge field in which the derivatives appear in a bare form. 
Listing those global symmetries of the theory that can be characterized by a continuous parameter generally an abstract equivalent of a rotation angle Computing the correction terms that result from allowing the symmetry parameter to vary from place to place, and Reinterpreting these correction terms as couplings to one or more gauge fields, and giving these fields appropriate self-energy terms and dynamical behavior, this is the sense in which a gauge theory extends a global symmetry to a local symmetry, and closely resembles the historical development of the gauge theory of gravity known as general relativity. Physical experiments Gauge theories used to model the results of physical experiments engage in Limiting the universe of possible configurations to those consistent with the information used to set up the experiment, and then Computing the probability distribution of the possible outcomes that the experiment is designed to measure, we cannot express the mathematical descriptions of the setup information and the possible measurement outcomes or the boundary conditions of the experiment, without reference to a particular coordinate system, including a choice of gauge. One assumes an adequate experiment isolated from external influence that is itself a gauge dependent statement. Mishandling gauge dependence calculations in boundary conditions is a frequent source of anomalies, and approaches to anomaly avoidance classifies gauge theories. Topic: <laughs> Continuum theories. The two gauge theories mentioned above, continuum electrodynamics and general relativity, are continuum field theories. The techniques of calculation in a continuum theory implicitly assume that Given a completely fixed choice of gauge, the boundary conditions of an individual configuration are completely described. Given a completely fixed gauge and a complete set of boundary conditions, the least action determines a unique mathematical configuration and therefore a unique physical situation consistent with these bounds. Fixing the gauge introduces no anomalies in the calculation, due either to gauge dependence in describing partial information about boundary conditions or to incompleteness of the theory. Determination of the likelihood of possible measurement outcomes proceed by Establishing a probability distribution over all physical situations determined by boundary conditions consistent with the setup information Establishing a probability distribution of measurement outcomes for each possible physical situation Convolving these two probability distributions to get a distribution of possible measurement outcomes consistent with the setup information These assumptions have enough validity across a wide range of energy scales and experimental conditions to allow these theories to make accurate predictions about almost all of the phenomena encountered in daily life, light, heat, and electricity, eclipses, spaceflight, etc. They fail only at the smallest and largest scales due to omissions in the theories themselves, and when the mathematical techniques themselves break down, most notably in the case of turbulence and other chaotic phenomena. <laughs> Quantum field theories Other than these classical continuum field theories, the most widely known gauge theories are quantum field theories, including quantum electrodynamics and the standard model of elementary particle physics. The starting point of a quantum field theory is much like that of its continuum analog, a gauge covariant action integral that characterizes allowable physical situations according to the principle of least action. However, continuum and quantum theories differ significantly in how they handle the excess degrees of freedom represented by gauge transformations. Continuum theories, and most pedagogical treatments of the simplest quantum field theories, use a gauge-fixing prescription to reduce the orbit of mathematical configurations that represent a given physical situation to a smaller orbit related by a smaller gauge group the global symmetry group, or perhaps even the trivial group. More sophisticated quantum field theories, in particular those that involve a non-abelian gauge group, break the gauge symmetry within the techniques of perturbation theory by introducing additional fields the Fadiv-Popov ghosts and counterterms motivated by anomaly cancellation, in an approach known as BRST quantization. While these concerns are in one sense highly technical, they are also closely related to the nature of measurement, the limits on knowledge of a physical situation, and the interactions between incompletely specified experimental conditions and incompletely understood physical theory. 
The mathematical techniques that have been developed in order to make gauge theories tractable have found many other applications, from solid-state physics and crystallography to low-dimensional topology. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classical gauge theory. Topic: <laughs> 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 Classical electromagnetism. Historically, the first example of gauge symmetry discovered was classical electromagnetism. In electrostatics, one can either discuss the electric field, E, or its corresponding electric potential, V. Knowledge of one makes it possible to find the other, except that potentials differing by a constant V V plus C v right arrow v plus C correspond to the same electric field. This is because the electric field relates to changes in the potential from one point in space to another, and the constant c would cancel out when subtracting to find the change in potential. In terms of vector calculus, the electric field is the gradient of the potential E equals minus V displaystyle math BF E equals nabla V. Generalizing from static electricity to electromagnetism, we have a second potential, the vector potential A, with E equals minus V minus A T B equals times A display style begin aligned math BF E and equals nabla V frac partial math BF a partial T math BF B and equals nabla times math BF a end aligned the general gauge transformations now become not just V V plus C display style V right arrow V plus C but A A plus F V V minus F T. Display style begin aligned math B F a and right arrow math B F a plus nabla F V and right arrow V F R A C partial F partial T end aligned where F is any twice differentiable function that depends on position and time. The fields remain the same under the gauge transformation, and therefore Maxwell's equations are still satisfied. That is, Maxwell's equations have a gauge symmetry. An example, scalar O N gauge theory The remainder of this section requires some familiarity with classical or quantum field theory, and the use of Lagrangians, definitions in this section, gauge group, gauge field, interaction Lagrangian, gauge boson. The following illustrates how local gauge invariance can be motivated heuristically starting from global symmetry properties, and how it leads to an interaction between originally non-interacting fields. Consider a set of n non-interacting real scalar fields, with equal masses m. This system is described by an action that is the sum of the usual action for each scalar field phi i s equals d 4 x i equals 1 n 1 2 mu phi i mu phi i minus 1 2 m 2 phi i 2 Display style math call s equals int mathrm d caret four x sum underscore i equals one caret n left frac one two partial underscore mu var phi underscore i partial caret mu var phi underscore i frac one two m caret two var phi underscore i caret two right. The Lagrangian density can be compactly written as l equals one two mu phi t mu phi minus 1 2 m 2 phi t phi Display style math call L equals FRAC one two partial underscore mu phi carrot T partial carrot mu phi FRAC one two M carrot two phi carrot T phi by introducing a vector of fields phi equals phi 1 phi 2 phi 
n t display style phi equals var phi underscore one var phi underscore two l dots var phi underscore n caret t. The term mu display style partial underscore mu is Einstein notation for the partial derivative of phi display style phi in each of the four dimensions. It is now transparent that the Lagrangian is invariant under the transformation phi phi equals g phi display style phi mapsto phi equals g phi whenever g is a constant matrix belonging to the n by n orthogonal group o n this is seen to preserve the lagrangian since the derivative of phi display style phi transforms identically to phi display style phi and both quantities appear inside dot products in the Lagrangian orthogonal transformations preserve the dot product mu phi mu phi equals g mu phi display style partial underscore mu phi mapsto partial underscore mu phi equals g partial underscore mu phi this characterizes the global symmetry of this particular Lagrangian, and the symmetry group is often called the gauge group. The mathematical term is structure group, especially in the theory of G structures. Incidentally, Noether's theorem implies that invariance under this group of transformations leads to the conservation of the currents J mu I equals I mu phi T T A phi display style j underscore mu caret a equals i partial underscore mu phi caret t t caret a phi, where the ta matrices are generators of the so n group. There is one conserved current for every generator. Now, demanding that this Lagrangian should have local o n invariance requires that the g matrices, which were earlier constant, should be allowed to become functions of the spacetime coordinates x. In this case, the G matrices do not pass through the derivatives when G equals G x mu G phi does not equal G mu phi display style partial underscore mu G phi n e q G partial underscore mu phi. The failure of the derivative to commute with G introduces an additional term in keeping with the product rule, which spoils the invariance of the Lagrangian. In order to rectify this we define a new derivative operator such that the derivative of phi display style phi again transforms identically with phi display style phi d mu phi equals g d mu phi display style d underscore mu phi equals g d underscore mu phi this new derivative is called a gauge covariant derivative and takes the form d mu equals mu minus i g a mu Display style d underscore mu equals partial underscore mu i g a underscore mu, where g is called the coupling constant, a quantity defining the strength of an interaction. After a simple calculation, we can see that the gauge field A x must transform as follows: a mu equals g a mu g minus one plus i g mu g g minus 1 display style underscore mu equals ga underscore mu g caret minus 1 plus frac i g partial underscore mu g g caret minus 1 the gauge field is an element of the lie algebra and can therefore be expanded as a mu equals a a mu a 
T A display style a underscore mu equals sum underscore a a underscore mu caret a t caret a there are therefore as many gauge fields as there are generators of the lie algebra finally we now have a locally gauge invariant lagrangian l l o c equals 1 2 d mu phi T D mu phi minus one two m two phi t phi Display style math call L underscore mathem lock equals FRAC one two D underscore mu phi carrot T D carrot mu phi FRAC one two M carrot two phi carrot T phi Pauli uses the term gauge transformation of the first type to mean the transformation of phi display style phi while the compensating transformation in a display style a is called a gauge transformation of the second type the difference between this lagrangian and the original globally gauge invariant lagrangian is seen to be the interaction lagrangian l i n T equals I G two Phi T A mu T mu Phi plus I G two mu Phi T A mu Phi Minus G two two a mu phi t a mu phi Display style math call L underscore mathem int equals I FRAC G two Phi carrot T A underscore mu carrot T partial carrot mu Phi plus I FRAC G two partial underscore mu Phi carrot T A carrot mu Phi FRAC G carrot two two a underscore mu Phi carrot T A carrot mu Phi this term introduces interactions between the N scalar fields just as a consequence of the demand for local gauge invariance. However, to make this interaction physical and not completely arbitrary, the mediator A X needs to propagate in space. That is dealt with in the next section by adding yet another term L G F to the Lagrangian. In the quantized version of the obtained classical field theory, the quanta of the gauge field A X are called gauge bosons. The interpretation of the interaction Lagrangian in quantum field theory is of scalar bosons interacting by the exchange of these gauge bosons. The Young-Mills Lagrangian for the gauge field The picture of a classical gauge theory developed in the previous section is almost complete, except for the fact that to define the covariant derivatives d, one needs to know the value of the gauge field a x at all spacetime points. Instead of manually specifying the values of this field, it can be given as the solution to a field equation. Further requiring that the Lagrangian that generates this field equation is locally gauge invariant as well. One possible form for the gauge field Lagrangian is L G F equals minus one two T R F mu nu F mu nu equals minus one four F A mu nu F mu nu a 
Display style math call L underscore text GF equals FRAC one two operator name TR left F carrot mu new F underscore mu new right equals FRAC one four F carrot a mu new F underscore mu new carrot a where the F mu new a display style F underscore mu new carrot a are obtained from potentials a mu a display style a underscore mu caret a being the components of a x display style a x by f mu nu a equals mu a nu a minus nu mu a plus g b c f a b c a mu b a nu c Display style f underscore mu nu caret a equals partial underscore mu a underscore nu caret a partial underscore nu a underscore mu caret a plus g sum underscore b c f caret a b c a underscore mu caret b a underscore nu caret c and that f a b c display style f caret a b c are the structure constants of the Lie algebra of the generators of the gauge group. This formulation of the Lagrangian is called a Young Mills action. Other gauge invariant actions also exist, e.g., nonlinear electrodynamics, Born Infeld action, Chern Simons model, theta term, etc. Note that in this Lagrangian term there is no field whose transformation counterweighs the one of a display style a. Invariance of this term under gauge transformations is a particular case of a priori classical geometrical symmetry. This symmetry must be restricted in order to perform quantization, the procedure being denominated gauge fixing, but even after restriction, gauge transformations may be possible. The complete Lagrangian for the gauge theory is now L equals L lock plus L GF equals L global plus L int plus L GF Display style math call L equals math call L underscore text lock plus math call L underscore text GF equals math call L underscore text global plus math call L underscore text int plus math call L underscore text GF An example, electrodynamics As a simple application of the formalism developed in the previous sections, consider the case of electrodynamics, with only the electron field. The bare-bones action that generates the electron field's Dirac equation is S equals psi I C gamma mu mu Minus m c two psi d four x display style math call s equals int bar psi left i h b a r c gamma caret mu partial underscore mu mc caret two right psi mathrm d caret four x. The global symmetry for this system is psi e i Theta psi display style psi mapsto e caret i theta psi. The gauge group here is u one, just rotations of the phase angle of the field, with the particular rotation determined by the constant theta. Localizing this symmetry implies the replacement of theta by theta x. An appropriate covariant derivative is then d mu equals mu minus I E a mu 
Display style d underscore mu equals partial underscore mu i frac e h bar a underscore mu. Identifying the charge e not to be confused with the mathematical constant e in the symmetry description with the usual electric charge. This is the origin of the usage of the term in gauge theories, and the gauge field a x with the four vector potential of electromagnetic field results in an interaction Lagrangian l int equals e psi x gamma mu psi x a mu x equals j mu x a mu x Display style math call L underscore text int equals FRAC E H B A R bar psi x gamma carrot mu psi x A underscore mu x equals J carrot mu x A underscore mu x where J mu x equals E psi x gamma mu Psi x display style j caret mu x equals frac e h bar bar psi x gamma caret mu psi x is the electric current four vector in the Dirac field. The gauge principle is therefore seen to naturally introduce the so-called minimal coupling of the electromagnetic field to the electron field. Adding a Lagrangian for the gauge field, a mu x display style a underscore mu X in terms of the field strength tensor exactly as in electrodynamics one obtains the Lagrangian used as the starting point in quantum electrodynamics L Q e D equals psi I C gamma mu D mu minus M C two psi minus one four mu zero F mu nu F mu nu Display style math call L underscore text QED equals bar psi left I H B A R C gamma carrot mu D underscore mu mic carrot two right psi F R A C one four mu underscore zero F underscore mu nu F carrot mu nu Topic Mathematical formalism Gauge theories are usually discussed in the language of differential geometry. Mathematically, a gauge is just a choice of a local section of some principal bundle. A gauge transformation is just a transformation between two such sections. Although gauge theory is dominated by the study of connections primarily because it's mainly studied by high-energy physicists, the idea of a connection is not central to gauge theory in general. In fact, a result in general gauge theory shows that affine representations i.e., affine modules of the gauge transformations can be classified as sections of a jet bundle satisfying certain properties. There are representations that transform covariantly pointwise called by physicists gauge transformations of the first kind, representations that transform as a connection form called by physicists gauge transformations of the second kind, an affine representation and other more general representations, such as the B-field in BF theory. There are more general nonlinear representations realizations, but these are extremely complicated. Still, nonlinear sigma models transform nonlinearly, so there are applications. If there is a principal bundle P whose base space is space or spacetime and structure group is a Lie group, then the sections of P form a principal homogeneous space of the group of gauge transformations. Connections gauge connection define this principal bundle, yielding a covariant derivative in each associated vector bundle. If a local frame is chosen a local basis of sections, then this covariant derivative is represented by the connection form A, A Lie algebra valued one form, which is called the gauge potential in physics. This is evidently not an intrinsic but a frame-dependent quantity. 
The curvature form F, a Lie algebra valued two form that is an intrinsic quantity, is constructed from a connection form by F equals D A plus A. a Display style Math BF F equals Mathem D Math BF A plus Math BF A wedge Math BF A where D stands for the exterior derivative and Display style wedge stands for the wedge product A Display style Math BF A is an element of the vector space spanned by the generators T A display style T caret A and so the components of A display style math BF of do not commute with one another hence the wedge product A A display style math BF of wedge math BF of does not vanish Infinitesimal gauge transformations form a Lie algebra, which is characterized by a smooth Lie algebra valued scalar, epsilon. Under such an infinitesimal gauge transformation, delta epsilon a equals epsilon a minus d epsilon. Display style delta underscore var epsilon math bf a equals var epsilon math bf a mathrm d var epsilon, where display style c d o t c d o t is the Lie bracket. One nice thing is that if delta epsilon x equals epsilon x Display style delta underscore var epsilon x equals var epsilon x. Then delta epsilon d x equals epsilon d x. Display style delta underscore var epsilon d x equals var epsilon d x, where d is the covariant derivative d x equals D E F D X plus A X display style D X stackrel mathrm def equals mathrm D X plus math B F A X also delta epsilon F equals epsilon F Display style delta underscore var epsilon math bf f equals var epsilon math bf f, which means f display style math bf f transforms covariantly. Not all gauge transformations can be generated by infinitesimal gauge transformations in general. An example is when the base manifold is a compact manifold without boundary such that the homotopy class of mappings from that manifold to the Lie group is non-trivial. See in Stanton for an example. The Young-Mills action is now given by 1 4 g 2 tr f f Display style frac 1 4 grams caret 2 int operator name tr asterisk f wedge f, where asterisk stands for the Hodge dual and the integral is defined as in differential geometry. A quantity which is gauge invariant, i.e. invariant under gauge transformations, is the Wilson loop, which is defined over any closed path gamma as follows: chi rho p e gamma Display style chi caret rho left math call p left e caret in underscore gamma o right right, where chi is the character of a complex representation rho and p. Display style math call p represents the path ordered operator. The formalism of gauge theory carries over to a general setting. For example, it is sufficient to ask that a vector bundle have a metric connection. When one does so, one finds that the metric connection satisfies the Young-Mills equations of motion. Topic: <laughs> Quantization of gauge theories. Gauge theories may be quantized by specialization of methods which are applicable to any quantum field theory. 
However, because of the subtleties imposed by the gauge constraints see section on mathematical formalism, above, there are many technical problems to be solved which do not arise in other field theories. At the same time, the richer structure of gauge theories allows simplification of some computations, for example Ward identities connect different renormalization constants. Methods and aims The first gauge theory quantized was quantum electrodynamics QED. The first methods developed for this involved gauge fixing and then applying canonical quantization. The Gupta-Bleuler method was also developed to handle this problem. Non-abelian gauge theories are now handled by a variety of means. Methods for quantization are covered in the article on quantization. The main point to quantization is to be able to compute quantum amplitudes for various processes allowed by the theory. Technically, they reduce to the computations of certain correlation functions in the vacuum state. This involves a renormalization of the theory. When the running coupling of the theory is small enough, then all required quantities may be computed in perturbation theory. Quantization schemes intended to simplify such computations such as canonical quantization may be called perturbative quantization schemes. At present some of these methods lead to the most precise experimental tests of gauge theories. However, in most gauge theories, there are many interesting questions which are non-perturbative. Quantization schemes suited to these problems such as lattice gauge theory may be called non-perturbative quantization schemes. Precise computations in such schemes often require supercomputing, and are therefore less well-developed currently than other schemes. Anomalies Some of the symmetries of the classical theory are then seen not to hold in the quantum theory, a phenomenon called an anomaly. Among the most well-known are the scale anomaly, which gives rise to a running coupling constant. In QED this gives rise to the phenomenon of the Landau pole. In quantum chromodynamics QCD, this leads to asymptotic freedom. The chiral anomaly in either chiral or vector field theories with fermions. This has close connection with topology through the notion of instantons. In QCD this anomaly causes the decay of a pion to two photons. The gauge anomaly, which must cancel in any consistent physical theory. In the electroweak theory this cancellation requires an equal number of quarks and leptons. <laughs> pure gauge A pure gauge is the set of field configurations obtained by a gauge transformation on the null field configuration, i.e., a gauge transform of zero. So it is a particular gauge orbit in the field configuration space. Thus, in the abelian case, where a mu x a mu x equals a mu x plus mu f x Display style a underscore mu x right arrow a underscore mu x equals a underscore mu x plus partial underscore mu f x. The pure gauge is just the set of field configurations. A mu x equals mu f x. Display style a underscore mu x equals partial underscore mu f x. For all f x equals equals see also.